So we're gonna have lunch at Chick-fil-A. It's funny how it seems like on the weekend we usually pick chicken, but Kevin told me to pick where I wanted to eat, and for like the last three weeks we've eaten at Joella's Hot Chicken, and so I was really wanting Chick-fil-A. And I truly wish they sold their hash browns all day long, because I would absolutely order uh, their- the little rounds? Yes. Okay. Like but the, yeah but they only sell them for <laughs> breakfast but we're actually not in the pickup line yet we're in the line we just pulled in and you yeah, have this is the end of the drive through line. yeah this is the end so you have to wait to go around the building to order um but you have to wait for uh to be able to go first and and so we're waiting behind this car so Kevin and I got the exact same meal. Uh, we got a crispy chicken sandwich with nothing on it. Makes it quick when you do that. <laughs> yeah, it, it makes it quick when you order the same thing. But we both use the Chick-fil-A sauce on it, so we usually don't get tomato or lettuce or anything just because it's just you don't need it um and normally i get cheese on mine i didn't even get cheese this time just because it um, it adds the pepper jack cheese adds a little bit of flavor but i just like the sauce and then we got french fries uh because they kevin did ask about the hash rounds and she said they only sell them till 10 30. We're in Meyer, and they've gotten all their um, their USA stuff out, their 4th of July stuff. And so, uh, I figured I'd show it to you real quick. It's pretty much the same stuff that we see every year and that I show to you. Oh, stay golden. <gasps> yeah, they have the office Seinfelds up there. Yeah, a Dundee Award. Every year, my parents would go to Kohl's and they would get a t-shirt and I, I think it's cute. Uh, they would get a t-shirt for everybody in the family for the 4th of July. Yep, we'd have a pool party and we would cook out and have, uh, what, ribs? Mm -hmm. We'd have ribs. Yeah, we got shirts like that. Kind of like with the yeah. Pool. Yeah, all these uh, kits, 90% off. I'm not getting any of them though because I don't think uh, the kids even did Easter eggs. Never seen these before. They're little like backpack clips or something. They have some Pokemon stuff. What is that that Kevin likes that I never can remember the name of? We just bought him the poster. No, no. Among Us. I never, ever, ever can remember Among Us. I've never seen Among Us stuff here. Or am I just missing it? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen Among Us stuff here? Alfred Hitchcock, a mystery jigsaw puzzle. They have a White Mountain puzzle. Yeah, look, good humor, White Mountain puzzle. It has... Um, I tell you what, they're cheaper. They're like two dollars cheaper here. They're seventeen ninety nine here. Oh yeah, I think they were twenty dollars at Hobby Lobby. There's the Monopoly game that Ashley has, the Garbage Pail Kids, and it's forty dollars, which is the normal price for a Monopoly game here. Uh, you know, I never had a Simon as a kid. Did you? Yeah, I was never very good at it. I yeah, Among Us, I don't think I've ever seen Among Us stuff here.
See, this is that green light brand that I like. And they have the Greatest American Hero, John Wick, 90210. This is a, a Morris Mini Cooper. I don't know if you can see that. The Great Outdoors. California Lowriders. Yeah, they've just got some really neat ones. And then they have like um, Police... How much is that? It's. Oh, you don't get all the stuff. Oh, it's just a display. Well, that doesn't seem very fair, does it? Yeah. Yeah, from the looks of it, it looks like you get all that stuff. Do you know that I've seen, like, on uh, Facebook Marketplace and stuff, people sell those little grocery things oh. by the piece? Because you sometimes they're, they're mystery items, oh, and so you, you get just the ones you, you can want. get just the ones you want. Yeah. But yeah, yeah they're they they're still expensive. Yeah. They do that on eBay too, because people will go buy a whole lot of them, right? And they open them all and sell them individually. Kevin needs new windshield wipers for his car, so we've come over to the area where you get the windshield wipers and then you have to look at these you have to pick out the brand that you want and then you have to look at the book so the book what do you look for a Mazda? Yeah. Mazda. So, so it's in alphabetical order and then you find the year of your car wouldn't some cars be so old they wouldn't be in here no they get some pretty old ones in here that's all different Mazdas so you have to find the kind of monster you have? Okay. Ours will just say old. <laughs> yeah, even with these new contacts, it's hard for me to see. Um, if you tell me what to look for, I'll look for it. That's a Mazda 6. I'm looking for the year. Where do you see the year? Right here. 18, 18, 09 to 17. Uh-huh. I guess that's it. The passenger side is... Are you sure? Why, yours is a 2015. Yeah, so 09 to 07. Oh, I say. Right? Yeah. I guess that's what that means. Yeah. So I need, is that 18? Yeah, 18. 18. The passenger side and the driver side means 24. So 18 and a 24. Well, I don't see 18 in these at all. Is this for any of these? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought maybe a certain brand had a certain yeah, size. Normally, you, you've gotten the Rain-X before. Yeah, but I don't think you should go cheap on windshield wipers. This is 18. This Trico Force. Mm -mm. And then Rain-X also has an 18. What's the difference between that one and the one down here? That one says more, more resistant to heat or to rubbing, to rubber crack. I mean, they're only, a, well, they're, they're a little bit different. So do you get both of them in one package or do you have to buy, yeah. you buy two packages, don't you? Oh, it's two different sizes. Yeah. So you need it, oh, 18 and 24. I'll try these out. You know what? They had both of those sizes in those. I know, but you sh I don't think you should go cheap on windshield wipers. Kevin's going for the mid-price. These are $30. These are 20 something dollars. Those are in the teens, 17 and 19. I know, that's what I'm saying. I, I think they start at the low price and then they work their way up. That's exactly what they've done. D don't you go to the cheapest? Yeah. So you're getting, you're, you're up decent, here. Yeah. yeah, you're decent. Yeah, but that's how they've done it. Yeah, I think these are good. I so see you got the Rain-X Weather Armor. Yeah. Okay, they have Hello Kitty Pyrex balls. Ashley does not watch these videos, so I'm gonna get this for Ashley. Um, I don't know if I'll give it to her for her birthday or for Christmas. And she needs another Pyrex, like a hole in the head, but I'm gonna get that for her. And then they also have new styles for the Mandalorian stuff. 
So we already have a bunch of these, but these are just new styles. Honestly, these are kind of like, I don't know, kind of cartoony. The ones we have are more um, like true to what they actually look like. But then you can get it in a set like that. Uh, but we then, but then they also have these. Would you? Oh, the Golden Girls. Now, do these not look like? Uh, they look like those uh, Starbucks mugs, don't they? They do, but it's not as big. It's not as big I as like round, that. But it's cute. Uh, yeah, I really like that. Do we need another Pyrex ball? We don't. But they're so cute. So cute. So the reason Kevin's saying it looks like a Starbucks cup is because like this one says Hawaii on it. Yeah, but they're smaller around. They're they not are, around. yeah, they are smaller, but look, Dunder Mifflin. Oh, 100 acre wood. That's really That's cute. cute. And then they have Gotham City. Oh, they had a bunch of front Do they have a, oh, it says, Okay, I'm getting that for Ashley. Okay, Ashley's getting that. It has Marie on it and it says Paris. It's weird because we didn't see any like that cute at Disney. Um, but yeah, she will love that. I have something for us to do that I think will be fun and some of you may enjoy it. Um, some of you may not, I don't know. Uh, but I, I'm gonna show you something I've never showed you before. So this um, right here on this monitor, this was our old house. This was the house that we lived in when Ashley was born. Ashley, um, Ash Ashley was born at the hospital. But we moved into this house. I was uh, pregnant for like a week and then I gave birth to Ashley. So I was pregnant, unpacking boxes, doing all the things when I was at time to deliver. It didn't bother me at all, honestly. But this was the house that we lived in until Ashley was 16 years old. And then we bought this house that we're currently in from my dad. My mom died. And so we bought this house from my dad. My dad actually bought this house. So we like switched. But he bought this house to sell it. So this is not the house that he lives in. Um, he, he has a, um, a different house. But he did want a house all on one level. So... Uh, this was our old house. This was Andrew's home that Andrew grew up in. We lived in an apartment before this. And so Andrew, the first years of Andrew's life, we were in an apartment and then we bought this house. So I thought it would be really fun because this house is on the market. And I had not seen the inside of this house since we, uh, since we sold it to my dad. And it looks so different. So this is what it looks like when we had it on the market when we lived there. That was our flag out front. That was my little gnome. Um, I think I can zoom this in a little bit. Yeah, that was my little gnome and I have him out back. Um, there was a, a lamb's ear here and I had a, um, uh, what is that called? Um, what is that plant called, Kevin, that I had the... the hearts a bleeding heart i had a really pretty bleeding heart outside but anyway so it's on the market now and this is what it looks like now so they have actually uh when i think when my dad bought it before he sold it we had this rock wall out front and my dad actually took the rock wall out and they put this edging there um, they painted the brown shutters, the brown door. Uh, they painted this post brown. Um, I like the lighter color, but that's just me, and I'm probably partial to it because it was ours. Um, but you can scroll on down, and this is another view of it. And what's so funny, I've told Kevin this before when we've driven past. What's so funny is that we had a weeping willow here at one time, and the weeping willow, the storms, uh, we had ice storms, and the ice storm just destroyed it. So we pulled the tree up out of the yard and uh, got the stump ground and all that, paid big money to have that done, and then new people came in and planted a new tree there. Um, so then let me show you what it looked like for us before I go. Okay, this is what the living room looked like for us. 
So you can see that couch is the same exact couch that we have right now. And we had, when we bought the house, it had a sliding glass door. And uh, mom and dad paid for us to have a French door installed. So it was actually a really nice French door. So then we go to the way, see, and when we bought it, there was carpet. Kevin laid this floor down. Kevin actually installed this floor, and I love that color. It was really shiny. So the floor now is, um, it's a really, really light. It's a very light color. But I understand why they did that, because um, I think when you add, uh, have a light color like that it just makes it look uh, like a bigger space but they uh, uh, I hadn't noticed this they put um, they have some like makers mark bottles up here um, and they have a sectional sofa which takes up a lot of room a sectional sofa but that's really a better view um, of it there and then here's another view this is what it looked like when we had it so we still have those two pictures um, you can see when we had it, the, the fan was different. The fan is just like our ceiling fan, I think, at our den right now. And then they've replaced the fan. And let's see here. Here's another close-up on that fireplace. So when we had the fireplace, the mantle part was a, a dark wood. And then they just lightened it up. Okay, so this was the, the kitchen when we had it. And it had, when we bought the house, it had three different lights in the kitchen. So we replaced every one of the lights with these. Um, they're kind of like a, they're supposed to be, look like a Tiffany lamp. Um, honestly, if I had to do it again, I would never buy them again. We bought them at Lowe's. It wasn't anything wrong with the lamps or anything. Uh, it was just that it made it dark. And this picture was taken at night. Uh, you could tell because there's no light shining through those blinds. But they were just dark. They, they didn't uh, add the lightness that they should have. But um, the, the cabinets, we, they were a brown and we painted them white. And so we had white um, uh, cabinets. And then you can see that the stove and the refrigerator were kind of like an almond color. And then we just had our table in the uh, center of the kitchen. They, uh, they the, the floor that they put in, they extended it to the kitchen. And they have the nice uh, uh, stainless stove. But they have used the same exact uh, cabinets. They painted them. They painted them blue. And they also replaced the countertops. So we had this... Um, it was, it kind of went with the appliances. It was like an almond color uh, countertop. And so they just replaced that countertop, which if Kevin and I had stayed there, we would have replaced the countertop too. I think it's interesting where people choose to put things because they put their microwave over here. And the whole time we lived there, our microwave was over here. So that's just interesting where people choose to put things. So uh, you have to keep in mind too when you're looking at these pictures. I took these pictures myself. Um, so um, they're, they weren't professionally taken by the, a realtor or the photographer or whatever. So their pictures are going to be taken in a way to make it look as big as possible. But this is what the angle looked like of the refrigerator and there you can see the the coffee pot that we used to have and the microwave and then this is the picture they took so if i had stood back next to like close to the front door i could have taken the same picture but i was literally just trying to focus on the kitchen when i took it but they um uh they change the lights so they have different lights and i do like their lights so much better because it makes it brighter when andrew lived at home this was andrew's bedroom and then when andrew moved out andrew uh, when he first was in the military of course it was still his bedroom but then when he came home he got married to christina 
it was an empty bedroom and so you can see I had a treadmill you can see the edge of the treadmill and so we had new carpet installed and uh, we had new carpet put in the three bedrooms and then I used it just literally to uh, walk on the treadmill but the people who have it now you can tell it is um, it's still a boys room definitely but they have a desk area they have this bed and then they have the desk area under the bed and then I guess they sleep up there uh, but they've changed the the light because it was just a regular light um, but and then they have they painted it a lot darker and then Ashley I can't wait to show this uh, to Ashley uh, this these pictures of the house because um, this was Ashley's room uh, I could show you pictures from way back. Uh, she, her, the first color she chose was orange. So for years and years, her her room was orange. And then once she, Gypsy Queen. it was called Gypsy Queen Orange, yeah. And then when she got to, was it middle school that she changed it to green, or maybe even high school? So this was her room, and she had a, a nice desk and her bed. She had a vanity like over here but it is actually a baby's room now and so they've painted kind of like a a mural it looks like of a, a mountain scene and um and it's a it's a baby's room and here's another uh view of it i wish i had the same view that they have in their pictures so this is um um this was mine and kevin's bedroom and uh, I had never had those wooden shutters, and I thought, oh, we'll try the wooden shutters because I thought I would like them. Honestly, once I got them, I really didn't care for them that much. I think they would look better in like a library or something like that. I just didn't like them for the bedroom, but I kept them because they were expensive. But you notice that carpet in there because you're going to see the carpet again. The carpet is the same carpet that we had installed because it was really nice Berber carpet. Um, but this was a good size bedroom. And we had really, when we got ready to sell the house, we had really um, minimalized everything in here. So like the desk area and everything did not look like it did while we were actually living there. It looks nothing like it. We really, really decluttered. And so this is a better view the way that they have their bedroom. I think it's interesting they have their TV on the wall here. See on this wall when we lived there we had a we, the bed was in the same place but we had a dresser here and we always had the TV um, like actually the TV was on it was on, an end table. it was on an end table yeah it was on an end table yeah, at one time there. yeah we do still have that end table um, and then this is another view of the bedroom and Kevin actually installed those closet doors um, and and you'll notice in this picture they still have the closet doors so they have the closet doors and then you can see right across into that baby's room that's where Ashley's room so was was right it looks bigger because it's it doesn't have a desk or anything yeah, over here nice. and we had a big desk we always had a, a huge <coughs> desk so this was our big bathroom is what we called it. We had the big bathroom and then the little bathroom, which the little bathroom was just the half bath, but we always referred to it as big and little. So we uh, put the slate, Kevin installed the slate floor. Uh, we basically, it was just lipstick because we painted and we didn't, we never changed out. This was just a white countertop with like a brown uh, brown drawers and stuff like that and in some of my very very first YouTube videos I'm in this house filming and so it's weird I was totally awkward um, I wasn't comfortable on camera at all but they're on YouTube they're still up there um, this is what they've done to it so they have completely changed there was a mirror um, we had a mirror but the mirror went all the way down to the bottom of the sink and there was no like like this has an edge around it there was no backsplash there was no edge because the mirror literally went all the way down to the sink and then this was that that brown uh, the brown drawers and stuff so they've replaced 
I bet you they've replaced everything. I bet you they've even replaced the shower. Uh, but they replaced the toilet because the toilet has the flush on the top. So that's new too. So this was the little bathroom. And I, it honestly, I think it's the same toilet. I think they still have the same toilet in there. But this was the original sink. And we replaced the um, faucet. But this was the original sink and stand and that's what the mirror looked like so this is the mirror that's what the mirror looked like in that big bathroom too it was just bigger so this is what they've done to this now i like the lights i like the mirror i do not like that sink that sink is just it's just small it's very very small and i know what they were thinking they were thinking oh we want to make this bathroom look bigger but they didn't need to there was no need to do that because there was plenty of room in the bathroom with that sink and i know it's not beautiful it's it's um but it was a lot it was a lot bigger and this is just this just seems very small it looks good it looks cleaner um it looks a lot cleaner so this is this is probably the last one I'll show you. Uh, we had a pool. We had a pool in the backyard for many, many, many years. We loved it. Um, it was awesome. But my dad was buying the house from us, and he thought it would be easier to uh, sell it without the pool. So we took the pool out. And so this, we didn't do anything to fix up the yard whatsoever before we moved out. So it looks terrible. Um, you know it looks bad but we love that pool and so this is what it looks like now um they uh there's still some patches in the yard i don't know what that would be from um but yeah, out there. yeah but they uh they have a trampoline out here i figured i would show you my dinner tonight it's a ribeye steak nothing else no bread no potato no nothing ribeye steak and then here's kevin's kevin's is a little bit bigger a little bit bigger but it's, all but it's not a lot bigger uh, but uh, that's what we're having for dinner. And I may put some Worcestershire sauce just because I like it. May not. I want to show you how sweet Kevin is. Now, he doesn't... I don't want this lady to know that I'm filming her. She asked him if he would help her get her water in her car. And so... Because those waters are really, really heavy. So, he's going to lift it up for her and put it in the back of her car. I just think that's sweet. So if you watched earlier when we were shopping at Meyer, I showed you some new Pyrex balls that I found. And I bought a set, a set of three for Ashley. I picked them up and I put them up um, with her stuff. I thought, I don't know if I'll give them to her for her birthday or whether I will give them to her for Christmas or when I will give them to her. But, so that was Saturday that I was actually filming that. Yesterday, Ashley uh, called me and she said, guess what? She said, I was just at Meyer, and she said, I found these Hello Kitty bowls. Now, the set that I bought her was in a box, a box of three. It was the last box. So I knew she had not seen the one that I bought for her. However, she said they had purple balls and pink balls. And she said, I didn't know if you had any or not. So I bought you one of each. And um, I was kind of um, holding my breath because I'm thinking, okay, maybe she bought me some, but she didn't buy any for herself. I said, oh, did you buy any for yourself? And she said, yes. She said, I bought one of each for, uh, for both of us. So, I love them. I think they're adorable. I wanted these for myself, honestly, when I bought Ashley hers, but I didn't get any. So, I'm thrilled to death that she bought me these, but she's going to die because I didn't tell her. I did not tell her that I had already bought her the three set, and what I'm thinking is, I've already put it away, but I'm thinking that that box has three different size balls. So this is your traditional, this is a four cup Pyrex bowl, but Pyrex bowls come in three different sizes. There are some of these, hold on, we have one, is it way, way back up in here? Oh, hold on, we have one, I'll show you. 
and it's absolutely this is this is massive so this is a nightmare before christmas i think this is the only size uh this big that i have um and i wonder if it says how big they are on the bottom i don't see but if this is four cups then this is probably at least six cups or something i mean it's it's significantly bigger um but i'm hoping that the set i got for her has like a big bowl and then a medium and then a small bowl because there's one with a yellow lid and it looks like it would be a smaller bowl so i'm still gonna save them i'm not gonna say anything um when i give them to her she it, there will be a laugh that we'll get a big laugh out of it that that she um that she found them the day after um and I might go ahead and give them to her uh, for her birthday and not, not save them for like Christmas or something like that because then too much time will have passed. Um, but I just thought it was so funny that I would have never expected her when she goes grocery shopping in Meyer. I wouldn't have expected her to look over there. And But they're on an end cap, so the groceries are on this side and like the Pyrex are on this side. They must have just, these colors must have caught her eye. Um, but now I'm thrilled to death that I have uh, two of them now. So you just saw Kevin buy these um, windshield wipers in Meyer, these rain -X, And I figured it would be fun for yeah, Kevin to see. Yeah, it'd be fun for us to watch Kevin struggle to put these on. And I'll show you why he's getting that open. These are my peonies. And I'm actually going to get a lot of flowers this year. So, I have, I had like four bushes here. This one back here, it's like, I guess it doesn't get enough light or something. So, it's not really growing well, but it's still green. So, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, but you can see I'm going to get a lot of flowers on these. So I'm very, very excited. And my ones out back look like this too. So, so I'm gonna get a bunch of flowers and then I'll be able to look out the, um, look out the back window and see the flowers. So the, it looks like assembly is required. No, it's a different adapter. What are you just pushing something in to get that off? And does it just snap on? We don't need no stinking instructions. Usually, you're really good at reading instructions. Not for me, but, uh, that little thing flips back, so you, you can slide it right. When I say slide it right on, relatively easy. So I figure I would get this one close Yeah, up. this bigger one has a little push thing. You push it up, yeah. oh, it just slides right off. It's like that. Okay. And this one, you have to open this little door. And then it slides on the top of that. should latch if it doesn't you gotta keep pulling there we go hey guys um Haley, a regular viewer long time viewer and commenter on the channel um sent us a book to to review or to to look at this one's called letter to margaret and it's a uh, it's a a graphical novel and i'll show you uh, what it looks like here in just a little bit but um she sent it to us to review 
Unfortunately, we really don't review books. I would be horrible at reviewing books, to be honest with you. I, I like a very specific type of book. I read through the Walking Dead comics. It was okay. I really had to work my way through it um, because it's just not the kind of book I, I read. Um, I read just like novels. I know um, um, these are different. You know, you get the imagery and it's more like a, a imagery with a conversation. It's just different than what I read. So I wanted to tell you what she said about the book and then show you the book um, so you can see what it's like. So she said it's a two-sided um, book telling the story from two different characters' perspective. Either side can be read first. It would, um, she would describe it as a comic word centric, which is different. Socio-political romantic comedy about trying to understand others' perspectives and language discrimination. Um, you do not need to solve the puzzles in the book to enjoy it, uh, but if you like crossword puzzles, then they're they're there too. That's that's a part of it. Um, you can buy the book at the link below. We'll put a link below, so if you're interested in buying it, you can. Um, both the mini comic and the book, they also sent a mini comic with it. It's just a, a really thin uh, version or a comic version of the book. Um, it also says you should probably read the book first and then go to the mini comic, but um, and then you can also get digital versions. If you buy the physicals, you, physical copies, you automatically get the digital versions of it. Um, and you can print all the puzzles out and work them out on your computer. Or, I mean, you can get PDF versions so you can work them on your computer or uh, print them out if you'd like. Um, I don't think she said anything else um, about this particular book. So, um, so again, we don't review books on the channel necessarily. So sending us books, I'll show them to you like I'm gonna show this one but we really don't review them. Um, I read through this some, uh, again, um, you know, it's got some crossword puzzles and stuff like that. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, so here are the two items. This is the mini comic and you can see it has um, some writing or text in there, but it also has, I believe, a crossword puzzle. Yeah, at the very, very beginning. So if you want a crossword puzzle, you can do that. Um, yeah. And then here's the actual book itself. You got the one side and you flip it over and you've got the other side. And this is what it looks like um, inside. Got some crossword puzzles here to work. The story itself, again, I'm not gonna show you everything. There's another puzzle. Some things to read. The story itself. And then you flip it over and there's also puzzles in this one as well. And then the story itself. So this is what it looks like. Um, you can see the drawings and the graphics and Haley's style of drawing. And I'm pretty sure she drew it all and did all the, the writing and everything in here as well. So if interested, like I said, I'll have a uh, link below to where if you, you're interested, you're more than welcome to go do that. Um, of course, we won't know anything about it. We don't get anything for it. Haley was just sending us the book to let you know about it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you're interested in getting the uh, graphic novel, The Letters to Margaret by Haley Gold, you uh, can go to the link and uh, pick it up. Well, I haven't given an update about uh, Christina, um, our daughter-in-law, Christina, is since, gosh, uh, I think it's been like weeks before we even went to Disney. Um, so you're talking probably over a month ago. Um, and if you're new to the channel, our daughter-in-law, uh, had a head on collision and all three grandchildren were in the back seat. Andrew was not with her because Andrew was at work, but Christina was driving and it was not her fault. And she was in the hospital. This happened on December 27th. And then she was in the hospital for weeks. And then she had to go to a, um, like a rehabilitation center to rehabilitate her body uh, for a, a while. And so when she was sent home, I think she was nervous about going home but I think it also scared Andrew to death, our son, because he's like, how? How is this going to happen? She was in a wheel going home in a wheelchair. How in the world is this going to work? You know, uh, she couldn't take a shower. She had to ha have a special toilet. Um, she, You know, everything was like, oh my gosh, how are we going to do this? And I think it was just him 
totally panicking about how life was going to be. And I understand, you know, it was like a whole new world, a whole new way of living. And, you know, was she going to be able to uh, do anything? Was she going to be able to cook meals and, and do any of that? So, um, I have given updates along the way, uh, but I haven't given an update, like I said, in quite a while. So, as of probably a week ago, Christina, uh, she went from using a wheelchair and then she was using a walker and then she was using a cane and even when they came over here for easter they they were over here for easter dinner that's the only time that she has been here since christmas so they were here christmas and then she got in the wreck on december 27th hadn't been back over here at all since uh since then and then she was here for easter we have steps going up uh in the back of the house and in the front of the house I was so pleased that she was able to make it up the front steps on Easter um, while she was here. She used a cane the whole time uh, because, you know, she didn't want to fall. And she's like, if I do fall, I could really, really risk injuring myself and make things bad uh, because things are, you know, starting to heal and everything and you, you don't want to cause new injuries. So I was just thrilled to death that she was able to, to get in the house on Easter. And, uh, and it's truly, um, it, it's, it's something just to see her up and around after everything that she's gone through. It's just amazing. So we went over to their house. Um, it was Evie's birthday. Um, I showed you what we were getting her for her birthday in last week's vlog. And so we were there for her birthday on, um, on Sunday. Her birthday is May 1st. So we were there Sunday. And um, we hadn't been there very long. And Andrew said, uh, well, what do you think? Did you notice? And, and I, I, I said, what do you mean? We just got here. And he said, Christina, she's not using, not using a cane. And I was just absolutely shocked that from Easter to May 1st, she went from having that cane to she's walking around without a cane at all. And it surprises me from what she, what happened to her, the wreck that was, it was so very, very se severe and what she came from. But then in a way, it doesn't surprise me knowing Christina because Christina is very, very, she's a very strong-willed person. And when she wants to do something, she's going to do it. She makes up her mind. She's not one of these people that's going to lay in the bed and just not do anything. She has three children. She knows that she has to... Uh, do things that and and two she just she's not one to stay at home she likes to get out she likes to do things she likes to she's an outside person and if it's a sunny day even if it's a cold day uh where kevin and i are like oh it's too cold we're gonna stay inside she's one that's like okay kids let's bundle up and we're getting out because that's just her so Seeing where she was at, it, it's just amazing how far she's come. So at this time, she still has two appointments a week um, where she goes to, uh, she has therapy in a swimming pool and um, apparently that helps a lot, but, but she has therapy twice a week. <coughs> And, um, and I asked her, I said, well, how long are you going to have to be going to two appointments a week? And, and, uh, I said, you're, you're not using this cane anymore. So, I mean, do you have to keep going? And I said, basically my question was, what can you not do that they're hoping to get you doing? And she, cause she's like, well, there's certain things I still can't do. And I said, okay, tell me. And she said, well, I have a lot of trouble getting off the floor. So when she 
I think she probably tries not to get on the floor, but if, when, you know, you have three kids, you're going to get on the floor, especially when one's small, you know, one's just turned three years old. And so, um, she has a really, really hard time getting off the floor because she can't move her legs in certain ways like, like I can move mine. Also, she cannot kneel. She cannot use her knees. And you might think, well, why is that a big deal? Because Kevin and I don't kneel very much unless, you know, when I'm, um, when I'm cleaning, when I'm cleaning, I kneel a lot because when I'm cleaning around the toilet and when I'm cleaning out uh, the bathtub and stuff like that, you have to kneel. She has to kneel to do that. But once again, having three little kids, you have to kneel to give them a bath, you know? And so I know like when we had the kids here, uh, every night was, we'd have a bath time and I was kneeling, uh, for all three of those bath times. So they're still, she still is having to go to that therapy because they're trying to keep improving, keep improving. And, um, she's, uh, she's not back to where she was but she is so much better so um i, I just had i had meant to tell you how she was doing but i'm glad that i had uh actually i'm glad i hadn't before now because we were able to go over there on sunday and see her for the first time walking around without the aid of anything and that was just an incredible sight to see. It really was. Um, last week, I um, introduced, because of my friend Josh in Texas, he told me about this membership button, this join button that I could put on my YouTube channel. He said it was $4.99 a month, and he said I contribute to another channel. He said I would love to contribute to your channel. And not everyone, I've had Patreon for a long time, but not everyone wants to do Patreon, and I get that. So I thought, you know what? What can it hurt? And so I put the join button. And what was the deal with that, Kevin, the join button? It doesn't show up on your phone. You have to use a, la a desktop. It doesn't show up on iOS app, the YouTube app. Right. You have to use a browser on an Apple device. So it's best, I guess, to just, to just go to a desktop. Uh, but if you go to a desktop, you'll see the join button when you go to my page. And six people, six of you, have now joined this membership. So, thank you so much. So, Josh in Texas, and then Darlene, and then uh, Bobby uh, in California, and then Hunter, and Michelle, and Hope. Thank you all so, so much. Um, I just appreciate it so much. And um, so it's like, wow, that's really, really cool. Um, but then I also, uh, I have seven people on Patreon. So Patreon, that's a huge deal. Um, so Techno Squid, I don't know if he wants me to say like, who is the man behind the curtain? So I know Techno Squid's real name, and I have used his real name. But maybe he would rather just in his comments go by. He goes by Techno Squid, so I never know. So Techno Squid, you can let me know. Can I use your real name, or do you want me to just say Techno Squid? So Techno Squid, Cheryl, uh, Pearson, uh, uh, Jessica, Kathy. Julie and Jamie. Um, thank you very, very much. I, um, I don't tell you often enough at all how much I appreciate your por uh, support, but I do. It is greatly appreciated. And it, um, I've said before, the money that I get from Patreon and now this membership, it, it just helps to uh, support the channel because even though um, I think a lot of people think that I make a ton of money off YouTube, and I do make money on YouTube, I do, but I'm not, even though I have over 100,000 subscribers, that's wonderful, and I'm grateful for every single one of those subscribers, but that's not where you make your money. These people that make a lot, a ton of money on YouTube are people that get a lot of views on their videos, 
if you look at my videos, I really don't get a lot of views on my videos. And like I said, I'm not trying to minimalize anything because I'm grateful for all of you. I'm grateful for any views that I get. I genuinely, it just really pleases me that we have this community. But the people that make the big bucks on YouTube are people that get like, um, 15,000, 10,000, 15,000, that kind of views on their videos. I don't get that kind of views on my videos. My uh, views on my videos, you know, if I get a thousand views on a video, then I'm doing, uh, you know, then that's really, really good for me. But that uh, doesn't happen all that often. I think the crumble videos do pretty good. Um, what other videos do well? Like, if we go out to eat or something like that, and I put that on uh, YouTube, that does pretty well. Uh, but just normal review videos, but you know, they do okay. Uh, so my point is, is that the money that from the, the membership and the Patreon support, it goes to help buy food because uh, there are people out there that think that we're just getting food free and and we don't you know hostess does send me cakes occasionally and i do get some cereal occasionally so i always tell you when when stuff sent to us from a company and they we do get it occasionally but for the most part kevin and i when you see those grocery hauls that's our money that's that's buying that stuff so it is very much appreciated but i thought it would be interesting for me to mention too Somebody asked me, where are my viewers from? And I thought, oh, that could be really interesting for you all to hear. Kevin, where was that at? Where does it tell you that? Analytics. Okay, the, where do I go, go once I'm under analytics? See, I don't look at this stuff. Um, audiences? The top? At the top. Audience. Oh, I see. Audience. Yeah, scroll down a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. So, 73.7% are from the United States, which doesn't surprise me. 4.1% are from the United Kingdom, and which is awesome. 3.9% um, are from Canada. 0.7% are from Mexico. 0.6% are from Australia, and then it says see more. Oh, wow. It really breaks it down. Oh, wow. This is interesting. 0.3% are from India. 0.3% uh, are from the Philippines. 0.6% are from Germany. Um... And then, this is weird, then it says 0%. Well, then why is it on here if it's 0%? I don't even know. It's probably less than 0 0.01. Oh, okay. But then, okay, then all the other countries are like less than, than 1%. Yeah, so I just thought, I thought that is so interesting. So if you ever wonder, uh, you know, your view in the channel, who else is viewing the channel, um, and then it gives the, the age and gender. So it says 57.7% of my viewers are female. And then it says 42.2% are male. And then, oh, okay, here are the ages. 2.3% um, are ages 13 to 17. Uh, 15.8% are ages 18 to 24, 26.3% are ages 25 to 34, 25.7% uh, are 35 to 44, and then 14.2% are 45 to 54 years, 9.4% are 55 to 64, and then 6.2% are over 65. So that, that's really, really cool. Oh, and get this. This is probably, this is probably the thing that boggles my mind the most. 
57.4% of people that visit my channel are not subscribed. They're not subscribed to me. It's like, what the heck? 42.6% are subscribed, but it's like, uh, it's like, so people are randomly finding my videos. 57.4% are randomly finding my videos and clicking on them, but then they don't subscribe. So it's like, okay, I have 105,000 subscribers. Imagine how more, how many more it would be if those people actually subscribed to the channel. But anyway, I just thought that was interesting. I thought you all would enjoy hearing about it. Um, there is, um, if you didn't see it, it might be up already. I don't know if I'm going to put it before this video or if I'm going to put it after this video, but there will be a video of just box openings because we had a lot of boxes to open. So, um, some people, you know, don't want to be on Patreon. They don't want to be a membership, uh, but they send boxes. And hey, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You all need to watch that video this week because uh, there's some really fun surprise food items in there that were sent to us. So you'll enjoy that. But thank you so much for watching the video. That alone is support. When you watch the video and give it a thumbs up, that is supporting the channel too. Even when you don't send in one thing, I appreciate it. Uh, so thank you again and we'll see you next week.